hands off, or I will gut you like hey. the rest. What? Never seen an assassin get put out of work before. Hello? You? You're not one of these third-rate assassins, I can tell. But if you or anyone else puts a hand on me, I'm answering with my axes. What's going on here? I've been cutting down these mercenaries for the better part of the day. I'm guessing my target knows I'm on to her and has started sending them my way. My associate, Horn or Envy, might know something about it, but I can't bring this heat to him. Do you need someone to relay the message? More like gather information. And if you're offering, I can pay you. Horn usually holds court at the Outlaw's Refuge. He'll be the only one there with bodyguards. Mm. Ask him if Rhaenyla Treveri's been through recently. Got it? I'll ask Horn or Envy about <laughs> Rhaenyla for you. Fair warning. Han might ask you for a favor in return for information. I can pay you back, but you don't get paid until I get paid, and I don't get paid until I find Rainilla. Make sure you get something good. I'll find you after you're done. But I have some questions. Well, make it quick before more of those mercenaries decide to show up. I just can't figure out where I slipped up. Rainilla shouldn't know I was after her. My catches never do. Catches? Targets. Bounties. Got oh. fishing on the mind, I suppose. I was planning a trip when I got put on this job. Really? High priority and the pay was nothing I could pass up. Lucky for the fish. Oh, I love fishing myself. So why are you after Manila? What did you do and what... And what does she do? Wait, what? I'm a mercenary. Bounty oh. hunter. Assassin. Whatever gets me paid. Rainilla stole something. Was told I'd know it when I saw it. Research notes to try and gain favor with some rival Telvani magister, maybe. Tale as old as time in these parts. Does that mean the client is a Telvani magister? I think so. I don't know. I was handed the job by my job broker. He let slip that Rainilla used to work for the client, but I didn't stick around to hear much else. Uh, you didn't ask for more details. It is a time-sensitive job, and I was told to stop Rainilla at any cost. Thought it'd be better to get on her trail sooner rather than later. I don't need to know all the fancy details and motivations. I just need to know enough to get paid. All right. You said I can find Horn Ulri in the Outlaw's Refuge. Is he a thief? He's one of Necrom's only crime lords, big fish in a small pond, and he knows everybody, so I am certain he knows Rhaenyla. I've worked for him before. We're not on bad terms, but I wouldn't go to him if I had any other choice. Why not? He's chatty. Too friendly for my taste. Lures people in just so he can get them under his thumb and in his debt. Last time we did business, we didn't see eye to eye on something. Let's leave it at that. What's your story? What? My story? I tell you to make it quick, and that's what you decide to ask me. <laughs> Try again, or get moving. All right. And listen, don't mention me to Han. It probably won't do you any favors. All right. Han, they're not just flowers, they're... Surely a man of your talents can grow more. Now, move. Others wait in need of my counsel. Hello. Your face isn't familiar to me, but I'd know that look anywhere. You want something from me. Information, probably. I'm well, looking... I'm what looking. is it you're looking for? I'm looking for Rainilla Treveri. Rainilla Treveri? Really? I may know something about her. Perhaps you can enlighten me on why it is you're seeking her. My business is Rinelli, with Rinelli is personal. All right, don't get so touchy, Fla. Rainilla was through recently. I can tell you what I know, but not without a favor in return. Why don't you deliver these red flowers I just gathered to some dear friends of mine? If I'd opened up the magic skills already, I'd be able to persuade them. 
<laughs> if I'd opened up the fighter's gun, I might be able to intimidate him. I have chosen frame flowers. I can do that. Braylon Ardas and Menradius Cortin will be my recipients. Braylon likes to shoot dice outside the palace. Cortin should be hawking his wares by the fountain. Meet me at the tavern when you're done, and I'll tell you where you might find Rhaenyla. All right. I'll do the very stars and meet you at the tavern. Braylon and Cortin shouldn't give you any trouble. And if they bother you with questions, just remember not to give them anything for free. Okay. Okay. Be quick about it. Meet me at the tavern when you're done. Alright, I'll meet you at the tavern when I'm done. Try Corton's Astounding! Hello? Are you here to try Corton's Cordial? The new improved formula with half the bitterness and twice the benefits? One sip will get you hooked! Guaranteed! Uh, I've been asked to give this to you. For me? Is it from... Oh, oh no. I need more time. Please! The Cordial will catch on, I promise! <laughs> Alright, good to know. I like it. I face it, Braylin. Lux just not with you today. Shut it, Frawl. Know when to quit, lady. Hello. Interested in a game of dice, my dear? Or perhaps you want to buy me a drink? Ah, uh, Braylin Artis, I have delivery for you. For me? <laughs> you charmer. What's the occasion? If you're in such a generous mood, the evening could be ours to spend however we choose. Actually, this is from Han on on Levy. You horrible fetcher. I can't <laughs> believe you delivered Han's message. Uh, leave me alone. I have to figure out how I'm going to get him out of my hair. What's the significance of the flower? Its significance is that Han Orenvi is a double-dealing, dishonest, conniving swit. Ah. I'll give him what he's asking for, and a piece of my mind with it. Do you owe him money? I'm not stupid enough to get myself into debt to Han Orenvi, you fetcher. Ah. He's blackmailing me for... Uh, never mind what it's for. Uh -huh. Get out of my face now! Alright, alright, I'm going. You can't just go making claims about this cordial, Menradius. It has to actually work. I'll try using columbine flowers in the next batch. I'll just need to find a steady supply. Nice You'll get a return on your investment soon, Harn. I promise. Well, if it isn't my flower flower. Hey. Back and right quick. Braylin sent me a piece of her mind. It got here just before you did, along with the information I wanted from her. Hmm. I ought to be careful with you. The last time I had someone so efficient working for me, I lost my eye. I delivered your flowers. What can you tell me about Vanilla? Keep your voice down, all right? Rainilla was through recently. She sought out Deredrian. A fence who specializes in moving specialty items. Where can I find Yethrin? She keeps a room at the Palace View Apartments just around the corner. But do be careful. Deredrian and Rhaenyla fell out some time ago, and they might not appreciate you dredging that bad blood between them. All right, thanks for the information. I'll seek out Yethrin. If you have further business with me, get right to it. If you don't, you're blocking my view. What happened to your eye? Oh, this. I got too chummy with a certain Argonian associate of mine. Uh -huh. All I did was put a hand on his shoulder to get his attention. Mm -hmm. Apparently it was the wrong move. He let me know with a nasty swipe of his claws. I should have asked first. Hey, oh. told you I'd find you. 
Rainilla was here, hmm? Let's have a look around. Looks like debt collection notices. Not helpful to us. Um, maybe I insisted I talk, ask you for help. I'm desperate and tired of you not responding to my letters. I slipped this one under your door. Oh. Is this Doregrian's place? Seems like a wanted woman, whoever she is. Huh. Rotmeth? Blah, oh. Rotmeth. Yeah. Makes me wish I was born without nostrils. Can't understand how any... Let me see that letter. So, Rainilla came by, pestering this Deredrian for help. Why? Uh, Deirdrian is a fence who moves specialty items. Han said she and Rainilla used to be friends. Great. Well, maybe they patched things up and Deredrian went to go help her. Though that doesn't explain why she'd leave behind a note that says exactly where she's gone. Mm -hmm. Especially if she's trying to hide from this reformer that Rainilla mentioned. It's the reformer the one who hired you to find Rainilla. Maybe. My job broker told me to track down Rainilla and take back what she stole for an important client. He didn't give other details, and that's usually fine with me. No memory of my past makes no answers an easy pill for me to swallow. No memories of the past? You have amnesia? I woke up a few years back in the middle of Valenwood with a nasty headache and no memory except my name. But that doesn't have anything to do with the job. Let's get to that campsite. I'll scout ahead and see if we can take Rainilla by surprise. All right, I'll meet you at Rainilla's campsite. Great. If all goes well, then we can both get paid and go our separate ways, I guess. Can I ask you more about your amnesia? I already told you most everything I know. I came to in Valenwood, middle of nowhere, blood on my claws. Someone was screaming, didn't see who. My head felt like it was split in half, so they got away. Then what happened? Well, I was in the middle of the forest, had to hunt and track so I didn't starve to death. Mm -hmm. At one point, I started heading towards this huge tree in the distance. Elden Root. Civilization. Ah. Oh. Sometimes, I wonder if I should have just stayed in the woods. Did you try to find out information on where you might have come from? Sure, a bit. Look, I didn't know if I'd killed someone or someone had tried to kill me. Uh, I kept my head down, took any job to get by, and now I guess I'm here. You aren't curious about where you were before. Someone could be looking for you. If someone somewhere cares I'm gone, they're keeping awfully quiet about it. Either nobody misses me enough to go looking for me, or I was a loner before, just like I'm a loner now. I'm not trying to find answers on my past. You shouldn't either. All right, let's head to Renella's campsite. Meet you there, and don't go blundering in without me. 